G'day guys, it's Jara here and welcome to a normal everyday phone. I believe that's what it's called, so I'm just gonna get straight into it, I guess. So I'm gonna give a warning as it gave me. Uh, it said home there are some homophobic characters in here, so just be warned. I don't know what that is, but okay. Well I know what it is, but I don't know why it's like that. I have a new phone. Now you have my new number. Sam. So I'm Sam. Dad. Why are you texting me from your bedroom? I just sent my new contact, my new number to all my contacts. It wasn't just for you. Why are you replying from your bedroom? Are you kidding me? Me never. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. Thank you. Mom wants to know if Melissa will die with us tonight. No, we're not been getting along recently. Ooh, girl trouble. Be strong, son. Okay, so cool. Women are complicated. Your mother still. about a dentist why aren't you answering I saw that I was in class sorry your mum's made an appointment at the hairdresser for you at 10am tomorrow what but I've already told you a million times I don't want to get my hair cut they make an effort or make your mum happy I love this bit of you know just guitar and singing I'm picking out Grace Ruth for tomorrow's party I was wondering how many people will be coming because Melissa was planning on coming She's not coming. How come? She seems to be the perfect girl for a guy like you. You like a guy like me, excuse me? Mom and I thought she was very nice and like well behaved and pretty. Just what every man's looking for in a wife. I really don't want to talk about it. Maybe he doesn't want a wife. We never seem to pay much attention to girls in general. So he's gay. We thought you were really to Melissa. We thought you were good together. What happened? Stop! Happy birthday, son. I'm so proud of the man you've become. We've celebrated properly tonight. Be prepared for a big party for your 18th. Dad, thanks. Where are you? Everyone's looking for you. Samuel, where are you? Where'd you go? We're all really worried. Tell us everything's fine. Your mum wants to call the police. I think I forgot my umbrella. I left the ready for Alice to stay longer. I'll ask her. She got it ready. Thank you. Cool, no problem. So I'm assuming you're part of a board game club or she likes board games. I thought it was it that she didn't leave at the same time as you. I thought you went home together. You've been inseparable recently. Alice. Okay. She's my best friend. Alice is her best friend. Happy birthday, Sam. I hope the cake is great and you get lots of presents. Was it expensive? How much could you get from your old dad? Hope you got a very nice, cool one. Not so expensive. I don't need a great phone anyway. Plus, Xmas is around the corner and then my birthday. So he promised to make history win my gift. Don't know what he's got in mind. Oh, he's that one person in your family that just has the caps off on and doesn't know how to turn it off, but can do emojis really well. Ha! Is he already dropping hints? I got a sly idea. Ho ho ho! But I won't say a word. All I can say is it's not suitable for a little for little girls. Okay. Happy 2016, 2016 from Ray. Hey big boy, I get to see you this weekend. Hi, Uncle Ray. Theo already told me, see you soon. Dumb Theo Tail doesn't know Merlin's Wi-Fi password. We need internet. I just sent it to him. 
haven't they they own the tail. Ah thank you. We're almost there. Be a good boy and go tell your mom. It's America's Seven. You're 18. Woo! Party party party. See you later. Oh I forgot. Cake! Cake, 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 cake. copies for you today, no worries. January 18th, not there, still 10 months away from me. Happy birthday. You just oh, gotta take care oh, it's a part of it. Okay. Alright, can't look at anything else. Miriam. Sometimes no one told me you might be interested in video games. What? He's the one interested. He's obsessed, lol. But he told me he talked about the other day. Like to try maybe this music oh that's better I think I just like it that. that's cool. yeah let's just turn you down a bit you're a bit loud yeah that's better uh messages I still want to go through all the messages we're at here um, he's, uh, try what? Do you know what game gem is? Like playing games all together? Not sure. Almost. This is a good way to in game gem. It's an event where people get together and try to develop a game prototype in a limited time. It's mostly fun, creative, interesting. And you often get to meet cool people and learn new things. And game gems, games are sometimes the best game. Sounds cool, but I really don't know what I can do there. Using no, you said you're a good one. Noah said you're a great musician. Really? Are there also people music making music there? Of course, sound and music are super important. It's like a challenge to develop something in those traditions. It's mostly for fun, really. But if it's good, who knows what will happen afterwards. In it, and in any case, the experience and the new friends is the most valuable thing you'll get from it. That emoji, though. Anyway, would you help us make some cool mu music composing from the heart? Ooh, I play that. Well, Sam plays the heart. <laughs> Sorry, I just offended all heart players. To tell the truth, while I play the harp, I actually prefer composing from instruments. You know, like the saxophone and the, the windpipe and the guitar. Do what you want. So are you coming? I don't know. Maybe I'll try. When is it? There's a brunch, but the best one is the last weekend of January. Will you join us, please? Well, that Sunday is my birthday. Ah, I didn't know. Yeah, sorry. Don't be. There'll be more. Keep in mind. Thanks. Keep it. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for thinking of me. Sure, musicians or as well. I didn't forget your birthday. Happy, happy birthday from the game jam. We're about to present that game. Good luck. I'm with you guys. Last Happy New Year. Hope you have a great time last night. We had some fun here with your dad and mum. Did they show you the photos? See you for your birthday, big boy. Thank you, Uncle Hugo. They're still sleeping. Glad to hear you had a good New Year. Happy birthday. I don't know if I can come. Always the same. Tim, you need class name. What did I miss today in class? Not much, but she said we'll have an ex exam before the end of the month. What? God damn it! We had one last week! What a biatch! Happy birthday! Aunt Estelia. I don't. I want to go to all of them in case I miss anything. Dear Sam, Diane, Elizabeth, Raphael, and I wish you a happy birthday. We hope you achieve all your goals in life and live happily ever after. Leo, Sam, sorry, I know a couple. What Sam from music school, Sam from the lab. Sorry, the one from school. Okay, happy birthday. That's a very cool picture. Chloe, that looks like Chloe from, uh, Lost, oh, uh, what's the one with Max? Life is Strange? That one. Do you okay, Sam? Hi, Chloe. Yes, why? Just wondering, because you seem upset the other day when you left after talking to Lola. And you weren't there today. Yeah, no worries. I'll be around some point. If you don't want to stay long, at least bring one of your mum's cakes. Half the people uh, go half the people go there just for cake. It won't be the same without you. Hey, hey. Is all you care about the cakes? 
I'm joking. Well, just a bit. This is exactly my friend. Except if she was honest, it'd just be like, yeah, pretty much. Well, just a bit. I was worried about you too. I don't like Lola either. Just don't talk to her then. I usually don't anyway. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for asking. Have a good day. Happy 18th, Sam. Happy birthday. Okay, some of these are short and some of them are long. When is your next concert? Hey, Fabrina. I have one in June and you missed it. I know. I'm very sorry. I couldn't find a babysitter for the twins and they are still too young to stay alone. Why don't you just leave girl to look after them and come on your own? I would have done so gladly, but Gerald wasn't in Maryland that evening. Then you should come with the twins. I'd love to see them. Lol, you know what the... You know what you're saying. You don't know what you're saying. They're so mischievous. But you invited but you're invited to visit any time you like, of course. English. Words. Speak. I will, and maybe I might even throw a private concert for the four of you. That'd be awesome. Then you're invited for dinner too. I just hope to see you before you become too famous and we'd have to pay to see you. Ha, huh, I'll take that as a compliment. But seriously, let me know when you let me know next time, please. I will, no worries. Thank you and send hugs to your mum and dad. Beautiful day to turn 18, huh? Have fun. I wonder who this person is. Like, teacher or some description? Hey, where have you been lately? We'll come by today. Hey, Tom, not sure, but have fun anyway. My phone says it's your birthday today. Happy birthday, see you around. There's always that one person's like, uh, my phone says happy birthday, so happy birthday? My cousin Tia is coming on Saturday to watch a race here. You're welcome to join us. We'll get pizza. I can't and grand the whole weekend. Too bad. You can't borrow some games. You can borrow some games from me if you want. Let me know. Happy birthday. F annoying I'm missing your party. Make it a good one. With the love heart shade just rocking out there. Noah from school. The talk about university today was cool, wasn't it? Yes, it helps us understand everything a bit better and help us make the big decision. I've already decided what I want to do. Study something cool. Video games. What about you? That's great. I'm not surprised. You're always talking about video games. So this is the obsessed one. I have some friends who know a lot and have done some cool stuff. I'm jealous now. Like what? Um, they're called Altia810 and they've made this cool game called Transform Mice. Man, they're awesome. But what about you? You don't look very convinced at all. I don't know yet. I'm undecided. You're a cool musician. By the way, I wonder if that game's real. Transform Mice? You're a cool musician, why not compose for games? Maybe. Lol, you don't sound very convinced either. P.S. It's a cool industry, think about it. I will, promise. Happy birthday, Mr. Boring Adult. Mr. Dupont? Miss? Sam, we'll be away next weekend. Could you feed Ringo again? He really likes you, thanks. Someone's gonna be Hello, Mr. Dupont, no problem. I'll do it, I like him a lot too. You'll find the food in the cupboard on the left, and it'll surprise you. Don't tell your mum. Thank you very much, but it's not necessary. It's my pleasure. Have a great start to the new year, and lots of love from the three of us. Thank you, likewise. I wish you a very happy birthday, young man. So it's an, like an ex-one neighbor. Gay okay, there. Oh, look, okay. Mom. I made you a chocolate cake for your book club. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. I made you apple pie for your board game club. I love the world's best mum. I made you a lemon pie for your book club. You're awesome. They will love you. I prepared banana bread for your board game club, mum. Yum, my favourite. I made you a strawberry pie for your book club. Mum, my friends will end up fat because of you, mum. But thanks. About the club, we're going to the book festival on the 19th. It's a bit far and we might need to eat up on the train. I'd rather not eat those overpriced train sandwiches, so could you make something? I love you, mum. Of course, I'll pack meals for your trip. I'm happy to know what you're making new friends. Thanks, mum. Is Melissa going with you too? No, no, she doesn't really like these things. Oh, pity. She's a perfect girl for you. She'll make you very happy. I'm sure. So, I'm preparing pat lunches for your book festival tomorrow. And a cake for your board game club on Saturday. What kind of cake do you want? No cake on Sunday. I think it's time to start going to board game club. Oh, but I thought you liked it. Less and less. Besides, they didn't appreciate your cake enough. That is exactly my mom. Any event that's happening, she's like, should I make a cake? Should I make food? Should I like... If you're going to someone's house show, you have to take food. Mum, don't worry. But I'll miss the last train home. I'll stay at the book festival one more day. A friend of mine is letting me stay. 
Okay, as long as you're home before your dad's birthday. Don't forget to wish your dad a happy birthday. Uncle Hugo invited us to celebrate New Year's Eve at his place. Oh pity, I already made plans to be with Melissa. She who would love to meet your girlfriend. You can invite her. She'll be back from the holiday and probably tired. It's not a good idea. As you wish, but Dad and me are definitely going. Let Hugo know if you change your mind, okay? Sure. So do I bake a cake for the book club or do they not like you anymore? They love your cakes, but they are taking a break in January. You're not bringing cakes for Melissa now, are you? She's good, but not as good as me. No, I'm not bringing anything from Melissa. Ooh. Happy birthday to my lovely son. Bibi. Who's in the group for the science project? Imar, Sunji, and Nia. Yours? Sounds good. I've got Holly, Simon, and Daryl. Any idea what you're going to do? We're still talking about maybe something ecological about the environment. Us too. Something about massive extinction of animals. Nice. My first thought was about bee disappearing. But then Simon came up with this brilliant idea. The other day we watched this documentary on how intense animal farming affects global warming and it looks like a big thing not many people talk about. True, it is a big thing no one talks about. How come? I don't see any connections. Well, the amount of water, for example, to produce meat or dairy products is huge. Then these animals produce a lot of greenhouse gases, and the corn to feed them also needs a lot of water and chemicals. Plus, it takes a lot of space, so they cut down forests too. You don't really think about it. You just kind of, if you're privileged enough, you just get food and that's it, or you get water. You don't think about how the things we eat affect the entire world. Like. Just because you ate that piece of meat you had for lunch or dinner or breakfast. You're putting greenhouses into the world and it's affecting everything. So yeah, I never thought of it that way. I already started coming back on the amount of meat and fish I eat. Good for you. There's going to be an awesome project. You're lucky to have Simon part of your team. Thank you. Good luck on your project. Happy birthday. That would be like a picture I'd have. Just because reading, I'm always attached to my book. Mom said we'll go on sat to visit you guys, so that's a team. Can we watch the race there? She said she'll buy us some pizza. Which race? Are you effing kidding me? The world championship? I'm not a big fan of that kind of thing. Don't you watch the news? You spend too much time playing that harp and hanging around with girls. Dude, come feel the engine power and smell the gas. You stare at the motorbikes, I'll eat the pizza. You can't while you're busy playing harp. See you then. Hey, I wanted to ask you about your brother. Eric? I hardly remember anything. He left when I was a kid and my parents never talked about him. They felt betrayed. I hardly remember him either, but he was nice, always nice to me. Why betrayed? They were really great parents and he still ran away like a selfish jerk. No, there's always more that meets the eye. You cannot just say he ran away if you don't know the full story. If he did just run away, then that's what happened. But unless you know the full story, you can't say... He just ran away like a selfish jerk. I asked once and my mother said he was some he was some sort of brainwash and joined a cult of some kind. Yeah, that's it. The bastard abandoned the family and we don't even like we don't even exist anymore. This morning I found an invite to his wedding in the mailbox. I was shocked. That's why I wanted to ask you. What the hell are you talking about? Have you not seen it? No, I don't want to see it. I don't give it. Don't you think that's strange? He's inviting us to his wedding. It's not like he doesn't care about us. He left, that's all I care. Sorry, Tio, Bayo. I don't want to upset you, but please check the card for me. Something doesn't fit. I don't even know if I got one. Maybe he only sent it to you. I'll have to check. Hey, I found it yesterday in the waste pa paper basket in my dad's studio, ready to go on the shredder. Did you get it? No, I left it in there, of course. Dad was just coming home. I'm dead if he catches me, looking around in there. But did you at least read it? It doesn't exactly sound like some cult ritual. I understand what you mean. No, it doesn't. Can we talk about it during the weekend when you're here? It's late and I want to sleep. Sure, I'll see you then. We're in Berlin! Stuck in traffic. What's the password to the public Wi-Fi? I haven't tried yet on my new phone, but I guess it hasn't changed. It's Merlin zip code. Easy. Thank you. Makes sense, thank you. Sam, can you call me? Um, zip code. Weather. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 29064. 
Many more left. Um, Sam, can you call me? No, not enough credit for phone calls. Everything okay? No, I got in touch with Eric. What? How? After we talked about last weekend, I checked again, and the invitation was still there. So I wrote down the contact detail. And is it what we thought? Can you call me? No minutes left until next month. But using the landline here is risky. My parents are home. My parents too. We can talk tomorrow. I'm meeting my friend Alice. She's got a flat rate plan so I can use her cell. But is everything okay? Just call me tomorrow whenever you can. Is it that friend of yours? I met once, the one who plays the harp too. No, that's Victoria. I'll call you in the afternoon. Can I call you now? I'm with Alice. Interesting. Cool, say. Are you coming on Sunday? Alice said you might not come. Why not? You have to come. You ser no, you seriously have to come. Hey, are you there? Don't ignore me. Hi, Hugo. Sorry I was busy. Yeah, like Alice said, I'm probably not coming. But why not? You can't miss it. Miss what? Did Alice not tell you? Tell me what? She's great. I actually asked her not to tell you. But then she said you might not come, and I thought she would have told you. But I see she hasn't. Oh, do you tell me what? You know, now you know if you want to come. I'll ask Alice. But really, I'm pretty sure I won't come. Sorry. We need you. I wanted to bring the game I I've been designing with my brother. Well, still a prototype, but it's ready and we want to test it, and I'm counting on you. We need as many people as possible, and you love to try new games. Alice said she's in. Come on. I don't know, Hugo. I'm sorry, but I think I can't come. Maybe next time. The game is perfect. There won't be a next time. Next time you have to buy and play it. Ha! <laughs> if it's as good, I'll buy it for sure. Yeah, you can bring me a copy and I'll sign it for you. Good luck on Sunday. I hope they like it. They'll love it. Sammy, I can't contact Melissa. It's urgent. She knows her grandmother's, but probably busy. She moved out after her grandfather died. Ah, thanks. You happen to have Merlin's Wi-Fi password? I haven't tried logging in since switching phones, so it may have changed, but last I heard it was Merlin's zip code. Hey, can you get me the notes from last week's math class? Yep, that is basically me right now in high school. Sure, no problem. Now that's... Now that I'm thinking about it, Rachel, is it just me, or do you only talk to me when you need something? Again, one of my friends. After rereading my latest messages, I admit I was pushing it. I'm really sorry. Thing. Thanks for not telling me to get lost and for always being there when I need you. You're really awesome, friend. I'm sorry. Ah, well, be more tactful next time. I promise. Melissa. So this is the girlfriend? Possibly? But that last message did not look good. Oh, finally! Me right in front of the cinema this evening. Okay, I just found this in my bag. Did it come from you by any chance? Oh, that's cute. That's actually really, really good drawing. Like, the way it's all drawn, that's amazing. Yes, I slipped into your bag at the theater yesterday when you went to the bathroom. Why? Did I miss an important date, like our first kiss or something? No, no, I just wanted to make you happy. Oh, you didn't have to. How sweet of you. Did you draw it? Yeah. But it's based on the picture we took during the holiday. Oh yeah, I see that. Speaking of, I lost the pictures when I switched phones. Send it to me. I took it with my camera, so I got it in the PC. I'll send it to you by email. Thanks. The truth is, is that I like your drawing more than the picture. You draw so well. So well. Are you sure that you don't want to go to art school next year? That's nice of you, but I swear, other than portraits, I can't really do much. And I really want to go to vet school. What are the results of the end? exam again December 23rd but that's just the first step towards administration administration there are other written and oral tests afterwards I'm stressing so hard right now right before you go on vacation at least you better check your mind if you don't get in I see you believe in me sorry I'll make sure I'm sure you'll make it. I believe in you I love you Rachel tried to call me five times this morning. I didn't have the nerve to answer her. Do you know what she wants? I don't know, but she sent me a message to ask me how she can get a hold of you. I'll let her know today is not a good day. Thanks. 
I'll get back to making up boxes. Let me know what she wants. Just the password for a Merlin Wi-Fi. Lol. How was the move? Not too exhausting? So much. I don't know how my grandmother collects so many things. She's been around for a long time, Melissa. You collect a lot of things just from being a child to when you're in your nineties. She's all she has time to collect all her things. Sam, you and I are on the same wavelength. Don't make fun of my grandma. How was your day? Not bad. What did you do? I went out and played board games. With who? Thomas and Marie Martin. Was Alison? So why'd you lie to me? What? There was no lying there. I didn't lie to you. Was that for Sam? Why didn't you tell me from the start Alice was there? Are you hiding something from me? Exactly. You get jealous every time I mention Alice. I told you a thousand times Alice is just a friend, but she's my best friend, and I don't want to stop seeing her. You really need to stop talking. Try to talk me out of it. So she's jealous of Alice because Alice and Sam are quite close. Sorry, I'm stupid. I just need reassurance sometimes. You know, I've never known men such women friendships before you and Alice. You're my only one. Aww. Now I'm sure I'd be less jealous if you introduced me to her one day. I'm sure it will happen soon. Yeah, but why not right now? Because it's already 10 p.m. You're right. I'm off to bed. Sleep well, my gummy bear. Good night, Melissa Cutie. Oh, nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. To those nicknames. Only 10 days. You're even more excited than I am. You know it's just a movie. You mean the most awaited movie in the history of the entire galaxy? Can you imagine if it's like, shut up. <laughs> no, it's gonna be great, I promise. <laughs> just talks about. Hey, I just thought, your cousin Theo, is he gonna be your dad's birthday party? No, why? Yeah, he makes me comfortable. I feel like he's trying to undress me with his eyes every time he looks at me. It's true, he's a bit strange. Like that. But don't worry, he's not going to be there. Tomorrow's a big day. Shall we meet in front of the theater? Yeah, I'm coming in close play. Oh, you embarrass me. I don't care. You can go, Melissa. Ah, forgot my math book in my locker. Are you still at school? Can you get it for me and bring it tonight? Sure, I'll get it. Did you change your locker password? You put Alice's birthday, didn't you? What? Like no. It's still your birthday, it's just the first... It's just first of month of the day. Got it! That's very toxic right there, the whole accusing. That's really toxic. Thanks for coming to my dad's birthday tonight, your cake was so good. Well, you're welcome, my pleasure. Your dad ate three servings. You sent me the photo of my dad blowing out the candles. The one I took in my cell was so awful, I deleted it. I hope your camera worked better than my phone. It's to send to my grandma. I'll transfer the photos from the SD card tomorrow and send you what I've got. It's a shame she couldn't take it. Yeah, it's sad to come to I just thought of it. Do you think she'll want the photos of you at the concert too? Oh, yes. You reminded me. She's been asking for, for, like six, for the last six months. Grandson. I'll send them to you tomorrow. Thanks. I saw Helen today. She told me what happened with Sebastian. I figured I could tell you about it because she said you already talked it over. The whole thing sucks. Why didn't you tell me? Yeah, it's seriously not cool. I didn't want to tell you before Helen did to respect her privacy. Can I take this in? He sounds really good. But believe me, I want to tell you badly. It made me so sad. Oh, wait, get it. It's actually kind of cool that you don't share people's secrets. She also told me that if you want... If it, to, also told me that it was you who convinced her to come talk to me. Well done. I really think I found the right words to help her. I didn't doubt for a single second that you would provide excellent support. Which gets me thinking, to convince her, did you tell her about you know what? No, I don't share other people's secrets, like you said. Thanks. No problems. I got results. I can't bring myself to open it. Oh, come on. Waiting won't change the results in the envelope. You're right. Well, I'm opening. Well, negative. Oh, no. You want to come see you? I just want to call up in the ball and cry by myself right now. I don't want to... I don't want to leave you alone at the time like this. I'm taking a shower and coming. No, seriously, don't come. The truth is, I don't even have time to curl into a ball and stress 
uncomfortable. Between stress over the results and the talk with Helen, I haven't had time to pack for tomorrow. I really need to take care of that. Okay, but if you need to, if you need to talk, call me. I'll call you before I go to bed. See ya. I'm at the airport thinking of you. We'll see each other for New Year's Eve. Enjoy your holidays. Happy Christmas, my gummy bear. Happy Christmas to the most beautiful girl. That's I can't wait for tomorrow. I mean, see, this holiday week feels like months without seeing you. I bet you saw Alice. Toxic. No, I didn't see her. I couldn't think of anyone but you this whole week. Can't wait for tomorrow. I have a big surprise tonight. Something to really celebrate New Year. You don't... You don't want to know what it is? Send you a photo clue. No. I'm sorry, but I'm not coming. I know you were looking forward to tonight, but it's time to admit things. We're at very different points in our lives, and we don't want the same things anymore. We're not the teens we were before. I realize how horrible it is to tell you this way, but I'm too much of a coward to say things face to face. I hope you can still enjoy your evening and find joy in 2016. Okay, saying it over text is quite douchey, and as sad as as bad as I, that is, I have done something sort of similar over text, but not really either. It's hard to explain. Um, but I understand that it is hard to say face to face. You could have at least called. Wait, you're kidding, right? Are you dumping me? What the hell? Everything was fine till now. Did you... Did something happen during the holidays? You can't leave me. We love each other. Nothing happened during the holidays. I just don't feel the same as we did before. Wait, you can't just break up between us on an impulse. Come to my place and we'll talk about it. No, I've made up my mind. I'm sorry. I want to spend the evening alone. Sorry. Mm. F you. I know it seems really stupid to tell you everything right now, but I'm really sorry for everything that happened. You're awesome and you deserve better than an a-hole like me. I'm really sorry I made you suffer that much. Tell me what I can do to help you better. Just ask so you know I move down to you. Okay. You said you would move down to her after you broke up with her. Pick what you want. After what what I want is you, you're the only one in my life. Anything but that. If I could do anything else to apologize or help you get better, just say it. I don't want to ever hear from you again. Please don't write to me. Don't come to me in school. Stay away. You're toxic, Sam. You're the worst thing that ever happened to me. That's a bit harsh. Happy be late new year. Do you know if we're going to the museum next week? I lost my schedule. We're going in two weeks. We're looking forward to it. Cool, me too, man. Last time was awesome. I found the talk about college quite useful. I'm seriously considering biology as an option. That was you, practically. I know. I was like biology. I get good grades without much effort. Would you say Merlin? Uh, I don't know. But at least one semester abroad would be awesome. The world should get to know you. That could be dangerous... This could be a dane. This could be dangerous for the world. Can't speak. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Welcome back to the 21st century. OMG, good thing you left. Big drama went down. Lola told you everything? Lol? Well, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's Annie who lost it. What's to do with Lola? Nothing, something personal about her. I really shouldn't talk about it. What happened with Annie? So last week she came to me and told me Thomas had a crush on me. He's not really my type, so today I went to say to him nothing could happen between us. Oh, that's quite upfront. Did he take it well? He didn't take the news badly at all because guess what? He had no idea what I was talking about. He actually confessed that he's been seeing Annie for the past few weeks. What? Why didn't Annie tell you he had a crush on you? I talked to her after right after. It seems she was convinced that I wanted to steal her boyfriend and he was interested and if he was interested and it was a way of testing his loyalty. What a twat. I hate lying and, and conning people. Of course I hate liars too. But seriously, why does somebody like Who does something like this? She's completely out of her mind. Then again, my girlfriend Melissa is almost as jealous so maybe she'll do something that bad. You have a girlfriend? I didn't know. Uh, yeah, sorry. I never told you about her. That's cool, I'm just pretty surprised. I didn't know why, I just thought you'd be more into guys. I think I like them both. I don't know yet. And uh, keep this to yourself. So, bisexual. Yeah, props. 
Why weren't you here today? I couldn't, I'm sorry. Will you be coming back in January? I don't know, I'm a bit annoyed with Lola at something. Don't care about Lola, it's like when you're... It's like... It's like when you're there, come play with me. Haha, <laughs> thanks. But I don't think I'll come to play again. We'll keep hanging out together somewhere else, won't we? But who's going to teach me the game rules now? Your instructions were always the best. But okay, I understand. And yes, we'll keep in touch. Here's an apology. I picked from my latest Toto show. I know you're a fan. That's a good picture. Well, you've been to a Tony... You've been to a Tony show? Now I'm jealous. Merry Christmas, Alice. Happy New Year. How come you're not replying, Alice? Why aren't you texting back? Dear Sam, your grandma showed us the photo from your last concert. We really liked it. Hello, it was just taken by a good photographer. Thank you. No, you've grown up a lot and look wonderful. Glad, so glad? I think it was supposed to be glad or very glad. Not or sorry, it's name, I apologize. Glad is very proud of you. He gets nostalgic when he sees someone with a harp. I didn't know he played harp too. Oh no, he doesn't. He's played many instruments but not the harp, but I think it's probably his favourite. That's why he never touched one and always held harpers in such a high regard. Still the sound brings some sweet memories. Your dad told us you're very talented, so now you're going to have to play for Vlad next time. I'll practice hard to impress him. Looking forward to it. Dear Sam, Vlad and I wish you a very happy new year surrounded by the people you love. Hope to see you next year. Wishing you 2016 with lots of fun. Thanks, hope you have a great night and enjoy the rest of your holidays. Hey Sam, happy new year, I hope everything goes great. Say hi to your parents to me. Thank you very much, Warren. Likewise. Getting through them all. Are you coming to the Christmas party tomorrow? I'm going with Helen. Hey Sebastian, sorry for the re late reply. I totally forgot. Guess you could tell I didn't go. I spent the day at the book festival instead. Hope you had a great time. Yeah, it was okay. Just okay? Sort of. Helen didn't feel well at some point. Oh, lame. I know you guys were looking forward to going together. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, uh, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, but things went wrong and she wasn't feeling well. You said that already, but she wasn't feeling sick. But she was feeling sick? Food poisoning? The biatch left in the middle of the party. What? So that's not very nice way to talk about your girlfriend. Can you effing believe it? She's not my girlfriend. We're just dating on and off, she said. Well, calm down. Do you want to tell me what happened or just shut up? She's a teaser. That's what happened. She's been dropping hints for weeks about comments about getting me... Making comments, getting me... Yeah, you guys can read. She was saying how special the night was going to be and how much fun we were going to have. And that doesn't mean anything. Well, what would you expect? After midnight, we were dancing at the party and she was constantly rubbing her body against me she was dressing for an almost dry humping me it's hard to imagine helen in that situation and then she said she needed to go to the bathroom what do you mean it's hard to imagine the tart was effing drunk and she had wanted it for weeks i went with her and she got all nervous and told me to go and then she left i had man it was going to be fun we were both into it well obviously she wasn't don't force someone to do things. Just because she thinks it doesn't mean it's true. What the hell do you mean? You weren't supposed... You weren't there, so shut up. You know when they want it. I bet you see it in Melissa's eyes too. They're such good friends. Hey, calm down. Don't involve Melissa in this. You're not the one who has problems. You're the one that has problems. And I think you screwed it up with Helen last night. Yeah, I screwed it up. And that's the only thing I screwed because that didn't want to finish what she started and you and your stupid girlfriend can too because i don't ever screw her melissa and helen spent the whole day whispering back behind my back but wouldn't talk to me i'm sure they know they're up to mr meddler i don't he needs to calm down where's the music i like the one last song so I'm trying to get through all the messages. I'm so close. Just these. Helen, reply as soon as you see this message. Thanks. Hi, Sam. 
I'm here, I'm not doing much. Are you okay? Yeah, why? I've just been texting with Sebastian and he told me about the pie last Friday. I wanted to know if you were okay. Don't ever mention his name, okay? I don't know what he's told you and I don't give it. Well, I wanted to make sure he didn't hurt you or do anything stupid. He seems to be really furious. He is furious? Him? He can die. And you can F off. I didn't expect this from you, Sam. Helen, I'm on your side. I'm trying to be supportive. I'm worried about you. That's why I'm messaging you. Sorry, Sam. That bus made me feel like... He was like a gentleman at the beginning of the night, but he became unbearable and soon you got drunk, making comments and touching me everywhere and holding me tight while dancing. I was feeling uncomfortable, but I didn't want to say anything. It was supposed to be a great night. I'm sorry to hear he made you feel like that. Then I had enough, so I lied and said I had to go to the bathroom, but I wanted to leave. He said he was going to the toilet too and came with me, but he came into the ladies' toilet and then grabbed my arm, started kissing me and pushed me to one of the stools. That must have been a terrible moment. I'm sorry. Thanks, Sam. Fortunately, we heard someone come into the restroom and that made him stop. He was so... He was drunk, so I was able to push him to one side and escape. I picked up my stuff and left. I don't know if he was caught or what happened behind me. I was just scared and wanted to get away. Were you okay? Did you make home safe? I was a bit drunk, just buzzed, but I came home okay. I felt terrible. I probably triggered the situation. It was my fault after all. What? No, no. Wait, what makes you say that? I came home early and my dad was away. I was very embarrassed, but he asked what was the matter. So I said a guy had been... Well, they seen me the whole night and he tried to touch me and group my ass in the corner. And he said, well, I told you that dress was too much and now you're upset. You should have been more careful. What? It is never the girl's fault because of what she picks to wear. Listen, Helen, you are not responsible for what happened. You shouldn't feel ashamed, okay? Did you ask anyone else for help, Melissa? No. Please don't tell her anything. I don't want to talk about this with anyone, please. It's too much. She's comforting. She'll comfort you, I'm sure. Don't be afraid. I think she'll understand and can be able to help you. Even better than I can. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate your listening. Most guys would laugh at me if they knew what happened. I already feel a teeny bit less awful. After talking to you, I gotta go now. Thanks. You can really count on me. I should have... I should really talk to Melissa. I'm sure she'll be a good help. Hey Sam, I asked Harry for your number. I was thinking my parents are a bit anxious about next Saturday. They don't like me going there with people they don't know. Do you think I could tell them to contact your parents so they'll calm down? Like, don't worry, your daughter is in safe hands with Sam around. I know they'll freak out. Sorry, I don't think so. They don't know where I'm going this weekend. I told my mother I was going to a book festival. You're not going to a book festival. So you lied to your mom? Your situation is even worse than I thought. Oh well, hope to see you Saturday. I hope too. I think it's, um, like Pride Festival. Hey, could you bring the back the game from last week? Can't remember the name of which one. With mice. Oh, okay. Your mom's cakes are so good. She's so nice to bake them for us every time. Okay, thanks. I'll tell her. You truly are a monster. I'm so disgusted that I've discovered your true face today. Don't you ever set foot back in the club or I'll tell everyone the little secret. Interesting. Alright, Mr. Capella is friends with Peter Norgan. What? A music theory teacher with Norgan the orchestra director? No. Norgan said the TV chef. Yes, of course it's the director. And not only that, I heard he showed up at our last concert. Do you think he would have Do you think he would have wasted his time like that? Huh, <laughs> funny. It's you saying that you are the best of all of us. Oh, shucks. I can already see him totally impressed by Sam the Virtuous. And then calling your parents and taking you with him to his orchestra. Hey, I'll be 18 soon. I don't need parent permission to sign contracts and stuff. I didn't know you were one year older than me. I didn't know you were one year younger than me. I heard your friend Alice likes Thomas. Did she... Oh, so this is Anne. Did she tell you anything? Is she a nice girl? What? She's great, but she would have told me. Who told you that? Oops, forget it. Maybe I was wrong. No way. Who told you that? So she's spreading conspiracy around. Thanks for letting me know. Good, good. See you on Sunday. Cool. We need to get to 
together for food sometime. Oh, that's all the text messages. Now my throat officially hurts. Other registered cities. Okay, here. Um, gallery. Oh, that's nice. Is like a board game night? That's cool. Some abstract art. Uh, art or a person. <laughs> Me trying to draw. That's, I like that. That is a cool picture. That's like a professor or someone. Sam's birthday. Whoa, we got a motorcycle for his birthday? Nice. Alright, uh, email. Oh, sorry, emails. Okay, so I added that to the gallery. Oh, that's the same one, sorry. Uh. Just getting the photos. Send the drafts. I'm actually gonna go on this. This looks interesting. Love birds, same thing. When's my birthday? It's always someone's birthday. When's my birthday? Calendar. There. Cool video. 31st of the 1st. Oh, I see an email. What? Uh, what are you banning? It is, and yes, you attach too much importance today. It's a pretty sure half your password is just days. Thank you. So it is. 31st, 01. Oh, it's American. 01, 31. Okay, same thing. I'm a nice 18 year old boy with blue eyes. I love board games, jazz. Oh, so this is like Tinder. OMG, we have so much in common. I like guys with blue eyes. Honestly, when I read your profile, I was like, OMG. I like board games, although, okay, I haven't played them for a few years, but I used to like them. I also lied. Sometimes, like, I lied to my ex, but it was because I didn't want to hurt him because he isn't the kind of guy who likes truth anyway. Hello, I like your profile. Sorry, I didn't see your message last night. Thank you. Tell me something about yourself. What are you reading right now? Uh, nothing. I don't like reading it. Oh, I don't like reading it all that much. It's on my profile. I thought you read it, no? You're... You piqued my curiosity. What did you lie to your mom about? Let's say I didn't exactly tell her the whole truth about where I'm going. Oh, big secret. Places you go must be very special if you won't tell your mom. I'm definitely super curious right now. Tell me everything. What's your big secret, Sam thing? I'm not going to tell you. Ah, I'd love to be a fly on the wall to hear your conversation with your mum and try to work out the truth from your lies. Ha, huh, I'm a detective. Just trying to like scan through uh love birds. New bird, yada yada. Weekly reminders. 
Okay. Oh, picture. 24 hours to figure it out. Spend the summer looking at the stars. Flash drives. Hand in hand with your smiles. So this uh Floretta is a music director I'm assuming. Ignore your others. Sam next to this. Wanna be to go spiders. Just ask me to live. Let's just ask me to live again. Ask me to become someone urgent. That's all good. Was it the wrong way? It just felt so right. Oh, the sun as well as wrong. The wrong way you just felt so wrong. East Merlin School was what he goes to. Was it the wrong way? How four. That on Bowser. Those are the new photos. Aw, cute. So that's me playing the harp. That's my dad. And that's a building. You just ask me to live. Ask me to live again. Ask me to live one more time. Are you like a secret character? Just ask me to live. Ask me to live again. Ask me to become. What's her birthday again? Um. Was it the right way you asked for more? Hmm. Was it the right way I just felt so cold? Was it the right way I okay. There is a diary in this calculator. What? I was just looking through this and I was like... I'm just gonna pick a random one and then just put it in. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. And is this person bi, gay, trans? Who knows? We'll find out in the next episode. Anyway, drop to us in the next video. Sorry, cows out. Let's bring it in for a very sagacious hug. Bye bye.